Hi, I'm Michelle Dean and I want to thank you for visiting our site at Pipes Museum. I also want to thank the Grady County Businesses and the Georgia Council for the Arts for continuing to support the restoration and rehabilitation of Pope's Museum and the works of Laura Pope Forrester. Now, although COVID-19 has temporarily rearranged our plans for the Shakespeare event, that does not mean that you cannot get in your car and go for a drive and see the works of Laura Pope Forrester. Pope's Museum and Laura's work is potentially one of the oldest extant outsider artist environments in the nation. Did you hear that? Potentially one of the oldest outsider artist environments in the nation. You are invited to come out and see Pope's Museum, the wall, um, and see one of her greatest works, which is the wall, all while maintaining social distancing. We are actually just feet from the road, so you can take your car and pull over and then get out and look at the wall. Now, in case you didn't know, Laura Pope Forrester has been featured by the High Museum, the Smithsonian Magazine, the Library of Congress, and many other numerous publications. When Laura saw a cause she believed in, she promoted it both by her lifestyle and by her artistic genius. Some of the things she believed in were freedoms paid for by the families and soldiers who provided these freedoms. She supported the institution of the family, knowing it to be the bedrock of society. And she supported women who made an impact in our history. Yes, she's known as the first feminist outsider artist in the nation. Some of the heroines that Laura featured was the first female United States Senator that came from the peach state known as Georgia, Rebecca Felton. Or how about the Revolutionary War heroine, Nancy Hart, who single-handedly hung six British troops. Laura believed in the power of women. Recognized as the first feminist artist of the 20th century, Mrs. Forrester's art consistently made a statement of the value of women in American society. This was done in the early half of the 20th century in rural South Georgia, when the culture often limited a woman's opportunity to domestic life only. She consistently used her artwork to prove the value of women in American success. For example, I am standing in front of a hundred foot long memorial to both Martha Berry of Berry College and the heroes of World War II. I'm just going to take a minute to feature a couple of things that are on this wall. The first one is a statue to General Eisenhower, the leader of the greatest invasion in history known as Operation Overlord, D-Day, June 1944. So Laura took the words spoken by FDR's first vice president, Henry Wallace, that honored the women in uniform and the women who went to work and made a memorial to them. This picture of a woman in uniform says, in honor of all women in uniform who have done their best in winning the war. She stands right beside the memorial to General Eisenhower and General MacArthur. And also to the women in America who by their industry and service have helped preserve our way of life. In doing so, Laura shared that America needs not just the men, but women have made a valuable contribution to our society and still do. So I invite you to come out and see this piece of artwork, again, a hundred foot long wall memorializing the men and women who helped achieve success and preserved our way of life. Thank you, and by all means, stay safe and stay distant. Thank you.